So, potassium ferrocyanide is here. So what this is is a complex. It's it's iron two plus ion surrounded by cyanide ligands. And when I add it to this iron two solution, uh, it's actually going to bind the iron two ions that were already in here, and they're going to attract that complex. Uh, they're actually going to perform an ionic bond. So this is a precipitate. Uh, it's a really nice color. And then it should, I don't know, it says in my packet that it's supposed to be light blue and it's supposed to darken over time. Uh, as oxygen comes into this solution, it can turn the iron 2 back into iron 3 and oxidize it. Um, I think that looks nice. Okay, test tube 4, I'm going to add the same stuff. So now we're looking at iron 3 plus this ferrous ionide. Okay, so that's the dark blue color. It's tough to see the difference because this has the uh, rust color background behind it. Um, similar reaction, this is also forming a precipitate. This is a very famous precipitate. It's called Prussian blue. It's a dye. So, nice. I'll cap those. All right, next, we're going to move to ferrous ionide. Okay, so ferrous ionide I put up on the board over here. This one is very similar to ferrous ionide, except the total charge is off by one. That's because the iron in here is a plus two charge, the iron in here is a plus three charge. Okay, so in this, I'm going to be adding iron two with the ferrous ionide. Um, and what's going to happen is I'm going to make it into iron three plus ferrous ionide. So you're still going to see that Prussian blue from before that we saw over here. And I would believe then that it would leave this out that maybe a rust color would develop as well. And the iron cream, whatever doesn't precipitate. And then when I add it to this one, because this is iron 3 and this is iron 3, when I add it, Nothing much is supposed to happen. And as I say that a whole bunch of stuff starts to form. Let's see if I can shake it. Right? Not too bad, not too much. Alright, and the last one I have is thiocyanate. Now thio is chemistry for sulfur. So this is a sulfur, carbon, nitrogen, polyatomic ion. I add it to iron 2, nothing should happen. However, there's probably a little bit of iron 3 in here. So you'll see a little bit of color. And that might look like a lot of color. So, iron 3, thiocyanate. Should form like a really dark red color. Hopefully that you can see pretty well. So that's a test for iron. If I were going to test to see if we're having bite problems, this would be what I added to see what the iron color. So you can see a little bit of iron 3 in here is forming the, the complex. Um, and this one, the thiocyanate, is really forming the complex. You can see that dark red color.